I thought you might have gotten started already. Oh. All right, today is the day you've all been waiting for, or at least 12 of you have been waiting for, according to the, the comments. We're doing what we eat in a day. Hey everyone, we're Eric and Paula, and we've been professional triathletes for 10 years. We've gotten a lot of comments lately, a lot of requests for a video about what we eat in a day. Well, you're about to find out. From cereal for breakfast to cereal before bed and everything in between, we're going to show you. Thanks for following along. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good? Out of 10, how many? They're not like my favorite beans of all time. It's so maybe like a seven. Good execution though. Or we've put off doing this for a long time is because it's, we don't actually know. We don't count calories. We sort of eat pretty freely. We both took nutrition courses in college and have worked with nutritionists through our federations, like uh, preparing and trying to go to the Olympics and stuff. So we've had a lot of experience with it, but currently we don't keep track of it. We just practice what we feel like is good eating habits. So we're going to be discovering this as we go. All right, um, every morning I have cereal. I like to combine cereals. The way that I pick out cereal at the grocery stores, I kind of have like three or four different things that I like. Basically I cross-reference how much on sale my favorite cereals are, and then uh, I don't really pick cereals based on the ones that have the lowest sugar content. If I have a too sugary of a cereal, then I, like in the middle of my first workout, I just have the sugar crash and it sucks. So there you go, with almond milk. What is some Dave, local guy. If my math over the years, roughly, is correct, that should be getting me close to a thousand calories for breakfast. I personally try to hit a thousand calories from breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and have snacks in between, especially when um, we get into the heavier training loads later in the year. Can you say anything about your breakfast? Yeah, I had the same thing. Two pieces of toast, almond butter instead of peanut butter, hemp seeds. Now I'm just waiting for my coffee. I'm not sponsored. EFS Canada actually sent me this to try, and I really like it. EFS America guy wasn't interested in talking to me. <laughs> One scoop of electrolyte, 96 calories, 16 grams of sugar. It's a two hour bike ride. I'll probably have two bottles in two hours. My nutrition strategy is I do about 350 calories per hour on the bike. Uh, I try to model it after what I do when I'm racing. So I would basically have two bottles with 350 calories in them and then try to just put down a third bottle. Whoa! Try to put down just a third bottle of water. I'll put about 80 calories worth of energy drink in there and then I'll put fill the rest up with maltodextrin or do a partial maltodextrin and then partial like just having a bar while we're exercising. But I find it about 350 calories an hour is when I can do like a four hour bike ride and not feel horrible in the last hour. Today's bike ride though, two hour bike ride, lower RPM, hard intervals. I think you're doing six and I'm doing seven. All right. I always get one extra so I can take it. <laughs> Because I don't do double runs.
All right, we're headed to the pool. Second workout of the day. Actually, the last workout of the day. We don't have uh, a lot of volume right now since this is only our second week back to training. It's gonna be nice to have an early finish to the day though. Neither of us really put anything in our bottles besides water when we swim, with the exception of if we have a hard workout right after the swim workout, then I try to put in some uh, nutrition so I don't bonk in the middle of the next workout. There's nobody out there. All right, it's really cold out there. We're gonna go for it. We always have the indoor pool as a backup option just in case though. What time is it? It's one o'clock, a little bit of a late lunch. Mm. Can't wait. Yeah, I'm gonna be in charge of making lunch. Oh, you as are? As fast as possible. Oh, sweet. I thought I had to make lunch. Basically this is like a pasta dish I like to make where you just cut up a ton of vegetables and then like tri-colored spiral pasta and then mix it all together with feta cheese and olive oil and salt and pepper and it tastes good hot and it also tastes good cold as leftovers, it's kind of like a pasta salad and you can really put any veggies in. I like to put peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, spinach, really anything and it's pretty quick to make, it takes like 15 minutes and delicious. So one question we get a fair amount is whether or not we're vegan. If you've been watching to this point, you've probably noticed that the only, I guess, animal products that we've had so far are the cheese and the milk this morning. For the most part, we don't eat a very high protein content lunch. And just so that like the last work out of the day, it's not sitting in your stomach and super heavy. Uh, but we get our protein usually with like the recovery shakes after a workout. And then we usually have something pretty substantial for dinner. Okay, I am on camera without Eric here, which is weird. But I'm at the store to get a couple things that we need for dinner that we didn't get at Costco last week. And very important, also replace the soda stream canister, which is empty. We go through bubbly water like crazy, so this is just like the most cost effective and environmentally friendly way, I think, to drink soda water instead of having like four cans a day. Here to get that, stuff for tacos, and my sister gave me a recipe for a salsa thingy for the tacos, so we're gonna give that a try too. That was fairly successful. One thing is it's like really insanely hard to film stuff. It looks easy and Eric usually does it, but when I was trying to like get the exposure right and actually film all the things I was doing, it was really hard and it took like two times longer to grocery shop than it would have otherwise. So Eric, I respect 
that you do this all the time. It's super insane. Anyway, I got a little bit, but uh, it won't be our best montage ever. So. All right, here we go. This is the main event. This is what you all come here to see. This is the grand finale, dinner time. Taco night. So I'm making a lime avocado cilantro salsa that my sister gave me the recipe for. So the ingredients are three tomatillos, like green tomatoes, a handful of cilantro, full avocado, a jalapeno pepper, lime juice, squeeze it in. Okay, now you put Some shots. olive oil just to kind of make it liquidy. You might need to add more. And salt. So no real strict ingredients. Just everything has to be green. Look at that. that. So we're using Elise, Eric's sister's Nutribullet, which is a little broken. So what you gotta do, but this is, you won't have to do this, is use a knife to push down the safety tab. Now I'll take it over to Eric to cook the fish. This is pretty much the end. Might have a little dessert, but... Yeah, we can dessert later. This is the end of tacos. All right, so got our tacos. I think they look pretty good. Okay. Thanks for sitting through this, and um, if you did actually like it, <laughs> go ahead and give it a like, but uh, we're going to eat now. <laughs> See you next week. the thing I mean at the end of the day we could have spent like an extra day coming up with some really unrealistic thing that we don't actually do or we could make the thing that we made like two nights ago that we love pre-bed yogurt I had pre-bed carrot cake but it's already gone